Good morning, folks. We've got space weather to see, including another X-class flare erupting from the departing group as a goodbye wave as it turns to the far side. We'll look at solar cycle progression, climate models, and a strange discovery on Mars. But we'll start with the last 24 hours on our star, and folks, we had expected an uptick this month with the small cycle pattern, and we have had two X-class flares in the last three days. We will probably get a bit of a break the next few days with fewer sunspots facing Earth, but... Let's go ahead and take a peek at that X-Class event last night. Came from the departing group, same one as before, now turned far enough away from Earth that its CME is not aimed our way at all. We are expecting enhanced solar wind conditions today as the previous CMEs arrive. Already seeing a bit of disruption actually as the first of the components may be impacting already. All minor conditions thus far. So let's move on to cycle progression. For the second straight month, we have seen sunspot counts above anything we had last sunspot cycle. We're still about a year away from the peak, so we should expect continued high space weather activity for a bit longer. Up next, we have a good paper elucidating yet another issue with climate models. From poor temperature predictability to cloud forcing uncertainty, we've seen plenty of these issues, and now we add a decadal variability challenge in the tropics. By the way, most decadal variability in the weather is due to the decadal sunspot cycle, which they refuse to study or consider as a factor, which is one of the main reasons for this and many other failures of those models. Lastly, folks, Mars is speeding up its rotation. The study makes no guess as to whether this is an ongoing constant or a new phenomenon, but confirms the planet's rotation is getting faster, shortening the length of day bit by bit. Given the fact that Earth's rotation has been speeding up as well, this certainly deserves a considerable contention as yet another planetary change in the ongoing solar system shift. We greatly appreciate your support. Resources are below in the description box. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.